Hi friends. Today I wore my um, sword necklace and I don't usually wear jewelry. In fact, I don't, I haven't for many years worn any jewelry at all, including I don't wear watches um, for, a few, for a number of different reasons. But um, I decided to get this um, when a coach of mine helped me to create a sort of a visualization, create an anchor um, for a particular state, which was a sort of creative focused energy. And she asked me to visualize an object that sort of represented that that state. And I visualized the sword. Um, and that state, by the way, is influenced by the idea of the resistance from the book Do the Work by Stephen Pressfield. And um, I thought of the sword as being th my assistance, the thing that I fight the resistance with. And so I visualized that. And then I thought, um, wouldn't it be great if I had a, a, a something to, physical to touch to anchor it even more powerfully um, so that I can access that state whenever I need it. And so I think the next day I ordered this online. Um, it was a cool little sword I found. Um, and um, and I sometimes, uh, well, I started carrying it every day. And when I needed that uh, state, when I was facing the resistance, I would I would touch the sword, get it out. I often wouldn't even have it under around my neck. I would just have it next to my 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 computer on my desk, and just um, I, that way I can see it. Also, it's very visual for me. Um, but um, I haven't worn it for a few months. I think partly because um, the resistance has gotten less strong. I haven't felt this as um, kind of pulled back by this this resistance resistant force. Um, starting these video series, I think, was something that I wasn't able to do before because of the resistance. And so I think I've kind of retrained my mind a little bit to get rid of that resistance. Um, but but I did wear it today, and uh, and it helped me because I haven't been so focused in the last couple, couple of days. And so I um, get a little bit of focus. And, um, yeah, I think it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's something really powerful. Um, if you know a little bit about NLP, you know about anchoring, and um, that's um, it's a powerful way, I think, to create a physical anchor. Um, and, and carrying it around my neck, it's less visual. I, I like to see it, but carrying it around my neck, I do feel it also. And then when I feel it, it reminds me of that state um, of of kind of you know pure creativity, vulnerability, as Seth Godin calls it. Um, and uh, yeah, I think one thing for me that was really important is that I, I used to be kind of very skeptical of, of things like this. And um, Stephen Pressfield talks about he's a writer, very famous writer, and he has all sorts of uh, um, superstitions that he kind of uses in his writing you know he has his lucky um, pen his lucky paper all this stuff and, um, and I, I think I used to find that really strange but I think now I think I've got a deeper understanding of how the unconscious mind works um, consciously those things are superstitious but the unconscious mind uh, for the unconscious mind they're just anchors they're ways to anchor different states of mind and so um, when we um, you know for the for the athlete who has lucky shoes, they just anchor their very best athletic um, feeds into that those shoes. And then when they wear them, they are able to enter that state easily. So um, having objects around you that create a particular state for you is very powerful. So um, I'm, I'm just really starting with that. This is the first object that I have where I've really anchored a state into it. And um, and I think I'll, I'll, I'll find a few others as well for different states. So um, yeah, if you haven't tried it, I, I suggest maybe find a coach or, or if you can create the state yourself and then uh, find an object to anchor it in. Um, the best play, way to start, I think, is just to do a visualization on that state and, and on the object. And if you can find the physical version of that object, that makes it easy. Um, that's it. I'm curious if if you've ever practiced with anchors and with um, or if you have any kind of superstitious objects that, that you know, give you energy and states that you need when you need them. Uh, be curious to hear about them. And that's it. See you tomorrow.